Why high quality women do not want to be with you what so fucking ever. There is so many men in today's world that want really, really hot girlfriends that are just so, so amazing in so many different ways and that are really pushing themselves to their greatness and really are very amazing evolved women that can really provide you with so many amazing things in your life if you got to actually be with them. But as we know, so many men are with low quality women, especially like women that are just fat pigs that really don't look after themselves and have low self-esteem and confidence levels and that consume things such as specific foods that make them really unhealthy and take certain substances that really just make them not as vital and just doesn't allow them to thrive whatsoever. But as we know, as a male, we want the most hottest thriving females possible, but so many times men are just not able to manifest them into their reality whatsoever. And why is that? It's very, very simple. It's like high quality women want men who have a lot to offer to them. I'm not just saying you need lots of money and be one of these older rich men that, that just looks for gold diggers and just attracts them in that way. If you're into that, then you can do that. But this is not what I'm promoting in this video whatsoever. But if you are a male that doesn't wanna just look for gold diggers and have loads of money and draw women in in those ways, you need to ask yourself is what do I have to offer to women? Because so many men are very unhealthy, they're overweight, their immune system doesn't function as well. They just look very, very unappealing externally. A lot of men are overweight and have like man boobs and a belly overhanging. And a lot of them don't have hardly any money. Most of them are in debt. They're not very successful. They don't have good social status or whatsoever. Their hormone production is not optimal. They're low in dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that makes you have so much self-esteem and confidence levels and makes you go out into the world and just achieve so much. And it just goes on and on and on and on. So you need to do some self-reflection and ask, what do I have to offer to women? Is there anything that I can offer to high quality women so I can actually attract them. And you could just write down a list of what you have to offer to women and things that you think would not attract high quality women and start to work on yourself, improve yourself in every single way person. Just go on this path of evolution where you're just trying to become the greatest, best version of yourself and create more of the life that you truly desire and just think to yourself, like, if I want to attract high quality women, what do I exactly need to do to improve myself? It's really, really that simple. And I used to be someone that just used to sit around and game all of the time, and I didn't really have anything to offer to women whatsoever. But then I started to pursue my dream life, my dream career. I worked on overcoming all my health issues and getting a very muscular body, not like a bodybuilder, but having a low body fat percentage with a decent amount of muscle mass. So I look attractive externally as well. Because yeah, whether you want to admit it or not, what is the first thing we're attracted to another person for? It's due to their external appearance. But what you need to remember is there's so many people that have amazing external appearance, but then as you get to know them, you just start to see they're very shallow, egotistical people, which can just turn people off and just push them away. It does for me because I'm not just looking for someone for their external appearance. I care about who they are internally and how they affect my life, whether it's in a positive or negative way or in an uplifting way or not. So yeah, just remember, don't judge a book by its cover because what you might find on the inside, once the mask comes off and you start to get to know someone intimately, you might not like what you are seeing. And yeah, we just live in a world where so many males are far from alpha males. They're beta males that are just gaming loads and watching porn and jacking off all the time and that just lays around a lot of time and don't look after themselves in any way, shape or form. They're not successful. They're not rich in any way. It's just like, come on, man. This is an epidemic in the world. So many men have just become so feminized and they really need to be able to embody the divine masculine as much as possible and get out of the shadow boy traits of being a male and gets more into the divine masculine traits of being 
a very amazing male that has cultivated this life force and energy that they're just going out into the world and just making so many things happen to become the best version of themselves. Because whether you want to admit it or not, and whether females are aware of this or not, they have, and we have, the mating program within us. We all want to pursue a mate. Whether we want children or not is another thing, but we all have this mating program within us. So it is always attracting us to the opposite sex so we can reproduce. And I want to affirm something again. Even if you're not interested in having children and you take certain protective measures to not get pregnant with you or with someone, this mating program is still going to be in place for you to reproduce. So do you think that a female with their mating program is going to be attracted to a beta male that hasn't got a lot going on in life, doesn't have much to offer, or an alpha male that is really got so much to offer in so many ways, shape, or form. It's just absolutely easy to work that out. Hmm, let me think. Uh, the beta male. Yeah, they're going to help you produce the healthiest babies possible. They're going to help you be able to bring them up in the best way possible and thrive and give you the support that the child needs and the female to survive because also that is in place as well with the mating program. It's all about a female being able to survive as much as possible and her offspring. So yeah, obviously she's gonna go for the alpha male. It just makes complete absolute sense. So you just stop fucking around and get your life together. Stop abstaining from porn and jacking off and gaming and doing all of these things that deplete you of the neurotransmitter known as dopamine. Because when dopamine is low, and I'm going to make a specific video on this soon called dopamine fasting, it is just going to destroy your motivation and energy levels. It drops testosterone, self-esteem, confidence levels. It induces anxiety within you. Also, it can induce ED. And a whole host of other things that I just see that is going on with males time and time again. It is an epidemic within the well. So as you start to do some dopamine fasting and start to get your body to produce an abundance of dopamine and naturally, you're just gonna have so much energy and motivation to just do things in the world rather than laze around and binge out and be a fat fuck and just let yourself just go. It's like, man, it doesn't make you feel good on your inside. So start being disciplined and making the changes that you need to start having some very significant shifts within your life. And yeah, man, I did this years and years and years ago, back in about 2013. And once I started like changing my life, dopamine fasting, I started eating a healthy diet, doing intermittent fasting, extended water fasting, supplementation, exercising, the list just goes on and on and on. I just started to go in the direction of being the happiest within myself, optimize my mental health, cognitive function, physical health, just start to feel the most alive and vibrant within myself, started pursuing my life purpose, started surrounding myself with the right people, listening to the right things, really pursuing self-development like crazy, and then, yeah, just kept going and going and going to evolve in any way that I could just feel the best within myself, because I used to be someone that used to be miserable. It felt like I was dying from the inside out. And it was destroying my mental health and physical health. And one thing I wanna mention, yes, Prior to I started pursuing all of these things that I've mentioned to get to where I am now, I did used to attract females. But these were low-level females that are really unhealthy and didn't look after themselves, and I wasn't with them for the right reasons. They were far from compatible people to be with, and it just made me form the most unhealthiest relationship possible with these types of people, and also the unhealthiest relationship dynamics and it was just breaking me down. And that's why I ended up with so many different health issues and just feeling absolute despair and depression within myself that I would then project onto my external reality. So yeah, if you're someone that doesn't give a fuck, I'm not saying you can't attract females whatsoever, but you aren't gonna attract the most highest quality females that you can actually be with over a long period of time if that's what you desire to actually form a long-term intimate relationship. And no, it was not easy for me to make these changes. And I wasn't doing it for the wrong reasons. I wasn't doing it to attract females or have some other, like, mm, what you could say, a vain reason or just a reason that wasn't the greatest reason for me to make these changes. Instead, it was just like I was sick of feeling like crap. 
And then a byproduct of making all those changes over a period of time has then allowed me to attract the most highest quality females into my life so I can have the best experiences with them. So yeah, just stop being a fucking beat mouse. Stop fucking around and just make it happen. You don't have control over your family, the weather, the government, or pretty much anything else except for yourself. So start empowering yourself and make the changes that you need to and start following people like myself and other people that can inspire you and motivate you and teach you some things that are actually effective to help you go in a direction to achieve whatever you desire, including the thing such as the topic I'm talking about in this video with attracting high quality women. So that's it from me in this video. Don't forget to leave your questions down below and like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.